Howdy doody. We are trending room today. Git Lab CVE 2023 20 28. Learn the X. Learn to exploit the GitLab instance using the CVE 2023 78 98 and understand various mitigation techniques. GitLab is a renewed and widely reowned and widely adopted web based repository manager that provides comprehensive platform for source code management, continuous integration, collaboration in the software development projects. Pair the latest stats. The platform rank first for C. ICD, the DevOps tools, part surpassing other vital platforms like GitHub, Azure, Jenkins, etc. In a general 2024, the platform identified the creating vulnerability in the Community Edition CE, Enterprise Edition EE, that allows unauthorized users to take over user accounts potentially including administrator accounts without any interaction from the victim. The vulnerability was identified by Asteroid 04 through the private bug bounty program and was assigned the severity critical CVE ID mentioned above. So now we will learn objectives, exploit GitHub CE instant through CVE 2023 70, 28 for the exploit works. How the exploit works, prediction and mitigation. For this, we need to understand following HTTP protocols, methods, or WASP, top 10 vulnerabilities. The vulnerability was caused by bug in how GitLab handled email verification during password reset. An attacker could provide two email addresses during the password reset request, and the reset code could be sent to both addresses. This allows the attacker to reset password of any user, even if they didn't know the user's current password. Okay, we have the instances that was affected. 16. The 1, 2, 16.5. All this. The impact. A successful attack could allow the attacker to control the victim's GitLab account. This could allow the attacker to steal sensitive information such as source code, commit history, and User credentials. The attacker could also use the compromised account to launch further attacks against other users or system. Detailed technical exploitation. The vulnerability resided with GitLab Post User Password API endpoint, which is responsible for password reset. Pandas are exploited. Flow in the ad email address validation by basing checks with invalid formats upon receiving a password reset request with attacker control email. GitLab incorrectly generated the reset token and sent it to the invalid address. Attacker then intercepted this token and used it with the valid target user's email to initiate password reset, ultimately hijacking the If we look at the password reset request GitLab, we can see the request to the user's password endpoint with authenticity token hidden, CSRF protection token, and email address as a parameter. If 
Tagi provides another secondary. Even others, a password reset token is also sent to the address. We can see email address, password, and the authenticity token. All these tokens to understand how the vulnerability works. Let's have a review at the key log 16. Dot. Community edition. Stable version commands. Okay, read out. Let me see. So we are here at latest changes for. And we will search for password control spec. Yeah. Ruby file. Recovery new edge settings get the port password control spec ruby so here we go perform request create for arms ruby perform request okay so you just deleted user email and The mail only. Let me understand. The attack only required authenticity token to ring for submission. And a victim's email address to gain control of the target account. What is the name of the field that sent with password request CSRI? Token authenticity token. Who is HTTP send request? I guess post. We can see it in here. Create post. Okay. Start in machine exploiting. Let me add. Time to machine. Export in the vulnerability is a simple red team only. For a red team, it only requires PI call to password. We have the IP. So let me. Okay, okay. Right. Eighty ninety. What? Rain loop. What? How to add the host? GitLab HD. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Host. GitLab HD. Fail. Let me read this one. Hosts get not. HTTP. Okay, that's not. Yes, it is HTTP. Okay. So, a talker and test in
invalid login or password. So, POC. Let me see POC. Now we can see in here POC. Import request we have self. One sec mail API. We walk. Following code. Victim E. Okay. Let me see. Real quick. What do we have in here? So we have self URL net log. Self URL. Self URL. Your bus URL. Okay, let me see. Init. Self URL. Valid. in here main action pool use a password new text hmm. okay oh here we go this is the class attack this is the class so self net lock oh I don't need all this row. I don't need all this disable warnings. I do need this one, I guess. Disable warnings. Let me copy this one. Nope. Now I will go be this class. This is it. Save this one. Attack. Yeah. Log. Py. Okay. Let me see what is wrong with this one. Because we have. This is it. API. And then change it with. URL pause. URL pause. API just delete it okay mail API have a non target We have this main API. Mm. 
get me get me self even even if we don't have this one Get authenticity token. Get self. Get ask. Okay. Let me wipe for me. Yeah? To here. Could I see the Authenticity token ask with that. Pass email, I don't think. Pass email either. Get code. Get code. With the password. Let's see with the password either. Ask reset. We said it from here, they've just wiped all the quitting and all. Nope. Ask reset. Ask reset. Yep. Boom. Okay. Let me try this one. See if it's failing or working. Are you done? Re attack. You. This is you. Whoa. Check. Reset password of it. Reset password. Don't have reset password. Reset. Sword. If asked to reset. Please wait a second. Okay, let me see once again. That's it. Thank 
physiquement. Wait a minute. I need also exhibiting a man received a talk. Why did I not see that? Okay, let's see. Per above endpoint getting updated token. Getting an updated token. This is it. What is it the token? Okay, updated. What is the flag value after successful sending? We set mail. Flag value. I have no clue. Once you execute. Let me see, let me see. Okay. Rain loop. It's rain loop. Okay. Credentials. Okay. This is it. Rain loop. We have the instructions, and we can. Reset this one. So we have reset button in here and congested. This is the mistake control of root account. Root. Mm -hmm. Wow, just that easy. I don't know what do I have the code in here? Okay. 
schön. Perfekt. Okay. In the previous task, we learned that the vulnerability can be exposed by making simple API call to an endpoint. Such vulnerability are difficult to identify as a legitimate call to the endpoint will also occur. Examining logs seem that captures web logs can be created or used. This search query to look for following possible exploitation terms. Web blocks call to user password with multiple email addresses. Expect email server logs for messages for GitLab unexpected recipients that are get control emails. Examine GitLab audit logs for entries containing Meta caller ID, password control create. Mitigation techniques. As a part of mitigation, GitLab has officially released the patch. We can see for the source code review that additional validation verification steps have been added to the GitLab source code repository for the email address to certain the possibility of exploitation in the future sending reset password instruction to however it is paramount important to see that non-compliance with secure code practices leads to disastrous result so far we learned how to perform the attack and how to detect the attack parameters in the logs. Let's talk about a few mitigation steps that we can take to prevent our servers from being exploited. Enable GitLab security alerts that would allow early awareness of patches. Import is not this critical release. Upgrade GitLab to patched version. Enable to Factor authentication to FA for all GitLab accounts, especially administered accounts. Follow secure coding practices, include proper input validation and email address verification. So I guess this is it. Is widely GitLab is widely used platform, and this vulnerability is still being exploited in the Wild. It is recommended to keep an update version of GitLab to avoid such vulnerabilities from being exploited. In this room, we learn the following latest vulnerability in the GitLab, which is assigned to CVID 2023-7028. Simple ways to explore the vulnerability to gain unauthorized access to the GitLab account. How to mitigate the vulnerability. Tholun, bye bye.